hi everyone, it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and I'm back with another tutorial and today I've got this um, gorgeous box for you and I do think it's gorgeous. I think it looks really professional as well and just so pretty and it's got some of the fabulous foil acetate wrapped around it um, and I've got the Colour Theory DSP on um, and it's just a normal box but I think having the, the, the Colour Theory DSP underneath with a kind of ombre effect just really sets the acetate off and it just opens up and I've just got a little candle in mine um, and it's a good size as well so the finished dimensions it is three and a quarter so it's three and a quarter tall and it's two and a half inches um, you know wide so a good size really and I've just put um, some gold foil around there used a stitched um, shape and I've stamped my sentiment with berry burst okay so I'm going to show you how I made it okay and um, we're going to do it in a different colour this time <coughs> So the card for the actual box needs to measure eight and a quarter by ten and three eighths and I'm using very vanilla which I used on the other one and this is thick very vanilla. I've got some of the Colour Theory DSP here and I'm using the, the green, I believe it's old olive um, and you need four pieces which are two and three eighths by three and one eighth and you need one piece which is two and three eighths square okay now the gorgeous foiled acetate um, I don't know if you're aware of this but it's actually double sided one side silver and one side gold um, I'm going to use the silver this time and this needs to measure three quarters sorry three and one quarter of an inch by ten and a half inches and for the top of the box I've cut a silver foil square I've cut another piece of the DSP with a scallop square and I've cut a smaller square in very vanilla from the stitched shapes and they're going to go on the top of the box so we're going to score our box and pop that together first, okay? So get your scoreboard or whatever you prefer to use and pop it in on the long side, okay? I'm just going to turn my measurements around because I can't see them. Right, so we need to score our card at two and a half inches five inches seven and a half inches and ten turn it to the short side and we are going to score at two inches five and a quarter inches and seven and three quarters. Okay, that's that dead easy. And the bit with the skinny little score piece is going to be the top of the box, okay? And that one's going to be the bottom. Okay, so we're just going to fold and burnish our card here. Okay, 
so take some scissors and we are going to start with the bottom and we're going to cut away this skinny little rectangle in the corner okay just like that and then we're going to cut up all three of these score lines but we're going to cut away the score line so we're going to cut just to the left of it, just to the right of it, and it will take out just a little piece like that. And I just think it stops any little bits from sticking out the underneath of the box. Okay, that's that. And then we're going to work on what will be the top. And we're going to cut away this rectangle and the tiny little square um, above it. So you should have that now. And then <clears throat> it's going to go together like this with the seam at the back. So we need to remove this box here. We'll just remove all of this okay so you'll have that now and then we are going to cut down here okay and then the only box the only box we need to keep is this one but these two what I want to do is just cut I want to leave about three quarters of an inch just for our little flaps at the side and I'm just you know cutting that judging it roughly I mean you can measure them if you want to so that is what you will have now for your little box okay and then I've got a corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners on here and I'm also going to round the two corners on here because I think it just makes it look neater and then also before you do that these two little pieces here if you just take a tiny little scither off there just a tiny little bit and then I'm going to round the corners Okay, so that is what you should have now. And then we're going to stick our DSP on. We've got the smaller piece for our lid. And the rest are just going to go all the way along here. So for that, I'm just going to use some Tombow. Okay, so there we go, and I've got the half inch, little half inch circle punch, and this piece here, I'm just going to punch a little finger hole in the middle, okay, just to help get the box open better. Now we're going to stick it together, and then we're going to do our acetate 
Well, a fabulous foil acetate, should I say. So, I've got some. Actually, I'm going to use this tape because it's good for boxes. So, I'm just going to pop some tape down here. Peel the backing off and then if you just fold this over there and then fold that there it should line up perfectly really okay so the top will be going in like that there we go <clears throat> and then the bottom <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just going to use Tombow, so I am going to stick a little bit on here. Oops, just some on there, just to hold the bottom together. And then some on here. Okay, like that. And then some on there and that's what I meant about snipping the score lines out because then it just ensures there's just a tiny little gap not a gap but you know they, they don't hang over the end and make it look untidy so I'm just going to open it up I'm just going to run the bone folder in make sure it's all stuck together and there's no bits flapping around on the inside of the box. Alright, so there we go. One sweet little box, which I think is gorgeous with that ombre effect paper. Right, so the acetate. Now, what I've had to do is to get it to fit around the box, I've had to go into sixteenth of an inch. There was no other way I could do it without it being either too small or too big. So another thing, I don't know if you will know, but there is actually some protective film on here. So when you peel it off, because it, it just protects it, you know, from getting all finger marks and stuff. So I'm going to peel that off now. And then I'm using my trimmer for this because I've had to use the 1 16th of an inch. So pop it in on the long side and you want to be scoring your first score at 2 and 9 sixteenths. Now basically that is two and a half. You've got two and a half inches there and then it's one more. Okay. Or nine of these little things so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're going to score that there, and you want to be pressing on quite hard and just run it back and forth a few times. Okay, so you know you've got a, a good kind of indent there. So now you want to score at five and two sixteenths or five and one quarter of an inch. No, five and one eighth or five and two sixteenths. Again, I'm just going to run it back and forth a few times. And then we want to score it at seven and t seven and eleven sixteenths. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, which is there. Count that again. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay, and then score that. And then the last one is 10 and 4 sixteenths or 10 and 1 quarter of an inch. Okay. 
and basically that should be okay and now we're just gonna give it a fold now I just kind of what I did was I can see the score line there and I just kind of bent it round now it it still is quite I mean what you can do is you can whichever way you can see the score line better just fold so it is quite tricky to see it really I think that one yeah that's okay there and then I just pressed it down with my fingers okay Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, so I've just folded that as best I can. Just pressed it down. Um, I didn't use my bone folder, but I mean, you know, you can if you want, what, whatever you prefer. So this is going to go around the box like this. And then we need some tape on here and that will attach to there there is our little wrap which I think looks gorgeous so I'm going to take some double sided tape and I'm just going to pop it down down here now this is really good acetate if you know it's really strong and quite thick as well so really good quality okay so just trim that off and then take the box Make sure your joint is hidden really. And then I'm going to peel the backing off. And I'm going to glue this onto here like this. Okay. And there we go. And then the idea is that you know it can slip on and off it's not actually stuck to the box now another thing is now that we have this on it this is stopping our finger hole so what I did was just push push the acetate back up or you can take it off whatever you want and I'm going to punch a little finger hole in the acetate as well now okay you see that there and then that still allows us access to that little finger hole there so there we go I think it looks gorgeous especially with this ombre paper now I've got my three little bits here that I showed you before and I've got the stamp set which is labels to love and I'm using give thanks which is what I used on this one and I think it's a really nice stamp now the papers I believe old olive I don't have an old olive ink pad actually so I'm using papers as And I'm going to stamp this onto my little stitched square. Okay, I'm just going to try and get that roughly in the middle. Okay. 
Okay. And then I am going to glue my little um, scallop square to the foil. Just going to glue that onto there. Oops. And then I'm going to glue that onto there. There we go, and then I'm going to attach that with dimensionals and I've just got some little bits that I'm using up from the mini dimensionals. Waste not, want not. Right, so let's peel these little backings off. Okay, and then we kind of want this in the centre of the lid if we can. Yep, yeah, that looks lovely. And then I have got some of these little um, enamel shapes, I think they're called. There's, a li there's little circles and hearts and stars. So I think I'm going to use a little silver star. Mm, I might just pop it there actually, just to bling it up a little bit. That's sweet. And then the last thing is I'm going to use Tranquil Tide Ribbon because I think the contrast of the greens goes really, really nice together. And I'm just going to tie this around the middle of my box. So I'm going to cut some off. And it's just to add more decoration. going to tie it in a, a bow. And there we go. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. I really do. So pretty. And there is the very burst one I made before absolutely gorgeous so we've got silver and we've got gold um, beautiful I really really like these love them so I hope you've enjoyed it um, um, I will be back again on Wednesday with another tutorial all the info will be on my blog including a list of all the products if you would like to buy any and I'll also be announcing the winner of the stamp set. Um, I believe it's on Wednesday. That'll be on my blog. So good luck if you've entered that. So yeah, I'll be back again on Wednesday. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.